Okay, here we are. We get the old school. This is a GE, man. But similar design to many other designs. Westinghouse. Anyway, this one needed a, a belt. What had happened is the idler spring popped off. So it didn't have much tension. It had a little bit of tension. Enough tension to burn the belt. So I put a new belt on. So in order to put the new belt on, basically you have to take the... I had to remove the mount springs over here. There's these two mount springs. There's a main mount spring and a side mount spring. The, or the bottom lower mount spring and the main mount spring. I just took them out of the way because they were blocking my uh, access to this pump. Basically there are four screws that hold this pump in. They're like quarter inch screws. And they're kind of tricky to get to. Basically you need a small quarter inch ratchet to get to them. And so basically they have to come off first before the belt can come off. And then you see in here there's actually I, I like I somewhat like this design. The pump shaft ha is, uh, is blind as well as the motor shaft is blind. And it has a uh, Allen head set screw in it to hold it in place. So you have to take that screw off and the four bolts that hold the pump on and then the pump will slide off. Make sure you remember how your idler went on so you can put it back on correctly. This is how this one goes. And I'm not sure where the spring went for this one but basically the spring should attach somewhere back here to hold the tension on. And so that's your GE tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, contact me at appliancesworks at yahoo.com, appliance-works.webs.com. I also have a how to make money in the appliance repair business course. It's only $49.95 and it includes a year of coaching and over a uh, link to over 100 videos. And if you're interested in that, you can send 49.95 to Bills Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California 95502. Keep on repairing, recycling, and reusing.